gospel. Mighty warriors. Encourage believers. When kings of the land. Possessors of life. We're ready to battle. So watch what? So what you gonna do? Stop on the devil's head. Come on, somebody crush his head. What you gonna do? Stop on the Welcome, welcome to Heavenly Messages. I'm Prophetess Clark, your narrator. I'm so glad that you could be with us today. Praise us unto God. For this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Praise us unto God. We're going to have a wonderful time in this session. For I'm going to be teaching once again, praises unto God. And I want you to sit back and relax and enjoy this section. Praises be to God. This is our program for today. First, I'm going to say a prayer. Then I'm going to read a scripture. And then we're going to go right into our lesson today. The lesson today's subject is how to treat one another. Most of us really don't know how to treat one another. Praise the Son of God, and I got some very valuable information for you that might help you along in your Christian journey. Praise be to God. Let's all bow our heads or uh, close your eyes for a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today thanking you and blessing your holy name for all the good that you have given to us. Lord, thank you for teaching us how to live down here. So when we get to heaven, we'll know how to live up there. Praise us and be to God. Thank you for giving us enough money and increasing our business. Praises unto God. We thank you for dying on the cross on Calvary. We ask that you bless the sick and the shut-in everywhere. Praise God. Bless those that are locked behind prison walls. In Jesus' name, praises unto God. Those that are homeless, that have no roof over their head. We ask that you bless these people in Jesus' name, for we love them too. Lord Jesus, thank you for being our everything in our life. These and other blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Praise us unto God. You know, prayer is the key to life itself. Many of you out there are so busy with your routine works that you don't have time to thank the Lord for all he has done for you. You know, sometimes we can be ungrateful children to our Heavenly Father. So let's try to correct this in our lives. Praise God, praise God. Um, for you Bible scholars out there, I have a scripture for you. It's uh, the 55th chapter of Isaiah. And I'm going to be starting at the 6th verse. Now that's Isaiah, the 55th chapter, starting at verse 6. Praises of God. May God add a blessing. Ready? Let us all read together. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him. For he would abundantly pardon him. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, said the Lord. For as the heavens are high, 
than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, from and the snow from heaven, and return not hither, but water the earth, and make it to bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So shall my words be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper into the things whereto I send it. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Praise the Son of God. Those out there, I'm, I'm focusing on people that that needs to know how to treat one another. Praise is unto God. You don't treat one another like the world treats one another. You treat them as God tells you to. And we find that in, um, we find, we're going to find that out in Matthew's, the 18th chapter. That's in the New Testament, all of you out there. I've, I want to take time right now to thank you for all your love offerings and all the things, the, the telephone calls that you have given me. It keeps me quite busy working for the Lord. Praise is unto God. So if you have a question or, or you have want someone to pray with, feel free to call me. My number is 424-204-3229. Now again, it's 424-204-3229. Praise is unto God. On my last session, I forgot to give the telephone number, so I'm giving it to you right now. Praise God. Now you turn to Matthew's, the 18th chapter. We're going to begin reading from the 15th to the 20th verse. Praise us unto God. We're going to, I'm going to be teaching how to treat your fellow man. Praise us God. And it begins like this. Moreover, if thy brother transgress against thee, go tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If we shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. It's saying here, if somebody offends you or, or does something wrong to you, you have to go to that person. Many of us out there, we will not go back to the person that has made us. Praise is God that has harmed us. But you see, you got to have enough courage to go to that person and face them face to face and say, well, you know, you hurt my feelings because you did that or you did this. Praise is under God. If you don't have enough courage to go to that person, praises be to God, you can't really be able to forgive him in Jesus' name. Praise is under God. Thank you so much. We need to go to that person. Did you understand what I'm saying? If you don't have enough courage, probably they didn't hurt you deep enough. Praise the Son of God. Or it was petty in the first place. But if you really have the love of God and spirit, go to that person and be kind and gentle and say, well, I I didn't like the remark that you made. I 
I stayed up all night thinking about what you had said, and it really hurt me deeply. Praise the Son of God. Face that person. Sometimes you might get uh, your feelings hurt when they say, well, I don't care what you thought. Now, when that happens, you turn away with love and you pray for that person. And the 16th verse tells us how to handle that. But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. You see here? You take somebody else along with you to the person. Praises of God. But you must be forgiving in the first place. Hallelujah. Praises be to God. Be forgiving. Because sometimes it takes two to agree with you to get this message over to your brother. It's important. Because you don't want to have any ill feelings toward them, and you don't want them to have any ill feelings toward you. Because this is why many of our prayers and our blessings are hindered, because we have alt with our brother. So you take another person to, he said, to witness that you were right or you were wrong. Praise is unto God. Now, the 17th verse, it says, And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But he, he looks next to hear the church. Let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a republican. Now, we're getting into territory. When you go to your pastor or your religious leader and you tell them what this person has done, praises unto God, and you tell it to the church. You let it be known. But all of this must be done in love and not for revenge. Praises unto God. It can't be for revenge. It must be done in love. Praise to God. And if he doesn't hear the church, evidently he's not saved. Praises unto God. He's a sinner man. But most of us, if the church or if another person agrees, we as Christians should forgive. We have to forgive. Because if you don't forgive, your heavenly Father will not forgive you. It says that in the Word. And then it says, you don't call him as a brother, but as a heathen. You try to save the sinners, the heathens. That means when you're a heathen, that means you don't even believe in God. Hallelujah. So none of these things can be happening in the church because we love each other. We're brothers and sisters. For God is love. Praise is unto God. And you got to hear. If they won't hear, we have to count him as a heathen and a Republican, somebody who is stubborn, and want to have it their way. Praise is unto God. And the 18th verse. Verily I say unto you. Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth. Shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever ye loose on earth. It shall be loose in heaven. God gave us as disciples. As Christians, as churchgoers, we can bind a thing. 
you know, to bind somebody is to keep them away. Bind them up so they can't do it themselves any harm or you, they can't do you any harm. You bind it. A lot of time we have spirits that we know that is not of God. And we're supposed to bind them. Bind them in the name of Jesus. Cast them away. We can't use the world's spirit. We must use the spirit of God. We're in the world and not of the world. Praise us unto God. So you bind it up. To bind something up, it means to tie it up so it cannot get it loose. Hallelujah. And you bind it on earth, shall be bound in heaven. See how much power you have? You can bind anything. Hallelujah. It has power on the earth, and it will have power in heaven. Hasn't Jesus has given us a great gift? All of you that love the word, praise us unto God. And he goes a little further and he says, Whatsoever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. That means if you untie anything that is bound up, it's going to be loosed on earth and in heaven. Now, Jesus Christ died to give us these powers. Praise the Son of God. Many of us do not understand why things are happening. But you have the power to bind and you have the power to loose. Hallelujah. Like when you have a cold or something's wrong in your life, bind that thing up. Praise God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. If you have a bad thought that keeps coming back, bind that thought up in Jesus' name. Because when you bind it on earth, it's going to be bound in heaven. And when you want to lose something, like many of you are standing there with the power to be able to lose money. Yes, you don't have to have your money tied up like that. You loose it in the name of Jesus. Loose that money and say, money, come to me, loose it. It will be loose and the money would come. If you feel something or something is tying up your money today, you business people, Loose it and let it the money come to you so you can do it. It's going to be loosed on earth as well in heaven. If you're having a problem, praise the Son to God, in your home, and you don't have peace in your home, you have to loose that, that spirit of peace into your home. If you just... Speak the words. And the Lord said he would do it for you. Just speak it. Thank you, Jesus. Many of us read the Bible. We read the Bible with our minds and everything. But the Bible says if you confess the Lord Jesus Christ, you shall be saved. Now, to confess something, you can't think it. You have to open up your mouth and say that. Many of you need a brand new car. Would you say you bind the spirit that's keeping you from getting a brand new car? Praise the Son to God. And you loose the spirit of the car coming to you. This is binding and loosening. He gave us the power when he died on Calvary. And see, because the Bible also say in that day, you would want for nothing. You have to learn 
how to bind the bad and loose the good to you, your life would be much better and you'll be so happy. So try that. Just think in your mind what you would want to have and what you want to take away from you. It's just mathematics. Whatever you are you bind, you are taken away. That's a subtract sign, a minus sign. And everything you want to add, praise is under God, you put a plus sign. Praise is under God. Pray, am I making myself clear? Verse 19. And I say unto you that if two of you agree on earth as touching anything they that that they shall ask, it shall be done. For them of my Father, which is in heaven. Let me say that again. It says anything that the two of you, hallelujah, agree on earth. Isn't that powerful? You can agree. Get your prayer partner. To pray with you, to agree with you in prayer. And it shall be done of the Father. Now, God said that this is his word. Christ said this. That any, anyone, you can get your little baby. Praise the son of God. Two or three years old. And hold his little hand. And pray with it. God will honor that. He said it shall be done. Of my father which is in heaven. You know many uh, years ago. My son he was only I think he was about five years old. And we went to the market. And he wanted this ball that he saw in the market. This purple ball that we both saw. I said, but baby, I don't have the money right now. This is when I was younger. And I didn't understand the power of the Holy Ghost. Praise is under God. So I said, well, no, I better try to get this milk instead of getting this ball for you to play. Praise us unto God. He says, but mom, I really want that purple ball. And I told him, I say, you pray and God is going to give it to you. Well, he, when I got home and I was putting away my groceries, uh, he went into the room, and uh, I went in there and peeped at him. See, he was so quiet. He was on his knees praying. Lord, behold, before I put those groceries up, my father came through the door to my home with a purple ball. And, oh, the power of God, I was just fascinated. And my little son was so happy with the purple. And it was a purple ball. And he knew nothing about he and I. So I wanted to say, uh, that's a witness to you. Praise the Son of God. Now the last chapter says, on the 20th, For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I'm in the midst thereof. You see where two or three people are in the midst? God is going to do it for you. So you have power. I hope I have given you some keys, praises unto God, that you can use in your everyday life. Let us start practicing these things because this word is true. Anything that his word is truth. 
praises on God. We read it like we read a newspaper. But that's not so when you read the Bible. When you read the Bible, it's life. And you should look at the examples and everything in there. Praises on the God that it is life to you. Praises be to God. Those of you who didn't understand what I was saying, give me a call. My number is 424-204-3229. And I'll be glad to discuss this lesson for you on how to treat your fellow man. And you have the power that is within you. Christ died on the cross. Give your life to Christ. Hallelujah. And come and join this Christian band. Don't look at other people and what you think about the church and things. Come on, come to Christ. Or call me. Hallelujah. I love you so much. And I enjoy all your letters and emails. Hallelujah. I really like those letters. But I take those letters and put them in my prayer box. Praise us unto God. You know, so many of us at, at this time, we don't realize how powerful the written letter is. You know, they have in the Bible, it is written, it is done. So it's good to sit down and write a letter. Write a letter to the Lord Jesus Christ and, and, and mail it to me. I'll be glad to put it in my on my altar or in my prayer box. Praises unto God. And those of you that are out there that uh, wish to send a donation, I would be very happy to receive it and bless it. Hallelujah. And I pray that you receive back ten folds of what you give to this ministry. Yes, I'm Prophetess Clark. I, I love you. Please, give me a ring when you have time. I know your schedules are so busy. But until this time, next time, may God forever keep you the apple of his eye. I love you. Jesus can work it out. Work it out for you. Jesus can work it out, work it out for you. Come on, one. Jesus can work it out, work it out for you. Do you hear what I say? Jesus can work it out, work it out for you.